Is there such a thing as a quick trip to the Goodwill? Hmm. Hey y'all, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a small Goodwill haul for you and my very first friend mail. I'm so excited. Let's see what I got. So my friend mail came from Christine at Side Street Market um, and she kind of told me about what it was, but I haven't seen it. So big shout out to Christine for my very first friend mail. I'm so excited about that. I know it is a book because she knows that I'm really interested in learning more about this. And look, it is a collectibles glassware 40s, 50s, and 60s. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I cannot wait to open it, so let's do it now. How cool. Fire King, English Hobnail. Y'all look. How exciting. Oh, Christine, thank you so much. Ooh, I like this one. King's crown. That'd be pretty for the holidays. Oh, I just love it. Christine, thank you so much. Not only is it my very first friend mail, but it's super exciting friend mail. So thank you very much for that. Keeping with expressing gratitude for all those who have helped me, today's shout out and spotlight goes to Michelle at Newton's Cupboard. I'm gonna insert her Instagram right here. You guys need to go follow her on Instagram. She walks you through finding items, inventorying items, navigating eBay, the whole nine yards. Not only has she been a great help but she's been a great friend as well so shout out to Michelle she actually purchased my first online item and walked me through the shipping and sending it to her so she has been a great support for me and I really do appreciate all that you've done for me so again check out Michelle at Newton's Cupboard on Instagram okay so let's go on to see what I got at my Goodwill haul it was a quick trip is there such a thing as a quick trip to the Goodwill hmm Anyway, um, let's see what I got. I didn't get very much on this trip at all. I know that it was a red tag day because most of my things were red tags. Um, and I got some bigger items this time. Couple things that I'm going to be um, repurposing or redoing. So let's see. The first thing that I got was um, just one of these it's in like an oven board. Um, and so when you find them like this, where there is a lot of wear, what I do is I sand them down a lot, treat the wood, um, and then I usually paint them and put a stencil. So this will probably be painted farmhouse white with maybe a um, cow or some type of farmhouse stencil in that in a black. And that will go in my booth tied with a little ribbon there. So that'll be super cute. I did get these, it was a set of three, and these are from, it says, the design called the Duke of Gloucester pattern is taken from an English Woodchester, I cannot say that word, soup plate made about 1780. This is produced for the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, um, and so there are three plates, they are metal trays, and I just thought those were really cute. I like those. Oh, so I picked those up as well. And then I got another tray. This is just a um, Christmas tray, probably for display in my home or if I'm going to put it as a base for a centerpiece um, at Christmas time. Or you could always put sweet treats in it because you know I love to put some sweet treats on stuff and give them to people. But I just like the aesthetics of this. Um, and it was like a quarter. These two things I got were, I just, they're wooden snowflake ornaments. They are new in package. They originally came from, it says, handmade ornaments. Um, it is a set, I think it's a set of 12 but um, they were only 99 cents a piece and you can either paint them and you put some glitter on them or you can use them as package toppers. So I went ahead and picked those up. One of the things that I really liked, I had looked at this and looked at this at Goodwill, but it was marked 12.99. 
And who pays $12.99 for something at Goodwill? But it was a red tag, so it was 75% off and it was still there. And it is just a little cheese plate. Um, and it has the sweetest little mouse on the top. There are no chips or cracks on this on the plate or on the little cloche part of this, the little top. No chips or cracks in his little ears. Um, and it looks like he he's holding, I believe, a piece of cheese. There's something written on it, but I think it's time for glasses because I can't see that. But I just love this. Um, it does have some crazing on the bottom, but that's okay. Um, it'll make a great little display piece, but I just thought he was too sweet. And it finally went on sale, so I picked it up. Another item that I'd seen before was this um, fish plate. Now, this does have a mark of 1979 on it from Whittier Pottery. I think I'm saying that correctly. And um, this is actually something that you see sold a lot on eBay. The, they're platters in different sizes. And I do know that fish and nautical things sell well. So this will probably be um, listed or it will be in a live sale. But um, I thought that was really cute. Another thing that I got was just a simple tin with Coca-Cola uh, cards in it. It is new. When you open it up, there are two decks of cards. I did count all of the cards in both decks, um, but I just thought that was really cool. We do have some people that collect playing cards and Coca-Cola. I'm not saying that this is super vintage, um, but I got it just for the collectability piece of um, the cards as well as the Coca-Cola tin. Um, and it was 99 cents with a red tag, so basically 25 cents. So good deal. Another thing that I picked up was this garland, a rag garland with wooden Easter eggs. And I will use this as a part of a display in a spring show that I have scheduled. Um, and so it, again, was a red tag. It was $1.99 and 75% off. So for decoration purposes for my booth, even my mantle at home, this will be super cute. So I picked that one up as well. In another video, I showed you that somebody had dropped off a ton of wooden picture frames, um, wooden block frames, photo frames. And so I found another one and it was a red tag. This one is really, really big. I mean, super big. Um, and it's very heavy. I will probably judge it up, as I say, with a little bit of ribbon or something, but it already has the family on the bottom. It's pretty colors, especially for Christmas. Um, and it was $4.99 with 75% off. So I'll add a little bit to this and then probably put this in my booth for sale. Two other items that I got that I just loved. Um, now these are not vintage, but they are a great print. They were $2.99 each with 75% off. And so they are the cloth print here of the little Christmas pig with the wreath. And there were two of them. So I picked both of those up again, um, probably just if I don't use them in my own house, I'll probably put them in um, my booth. They were from Hobby Lobby originally. I'll just use those for decoration in my home or like I said, put them in my booth. But it is something that a lot of people decorate with at Christmas time. And for $2.99 with 75% off, I couldn't beat that. I um, only have two more items, so I told you this was a very quick haul, not a lot in this, but um, really some cute things, and it was a good 75% off day for the red tag. I'm guessing that these may have been carnival prizes at one time, but I did see them listed on eBay. Um, they're kind of pricey carnival prizes now, but they are mirrors. Um, you can see yourself in there, but they are mirrors. This is a Jack Daniels. Um, distillery and it says it has a copyright 1999 on it um, and so it's just a little mirror um, the other one was a Chivas Regal whiskey and this is um, the same so they could have been carnival prizes um, but I just thought they were really cool and I did see several of them listed on eBay so I will probably put them in my booth um, if I don't go ahead and list them. So I got a lot of very cute things in a short period of time. Like I think I actually was in Goodwill maybe 20 minutes. <laughs>
um, but I did get some good things. A lot of things I can use for my own decor. A lot of things that I'm going to be putting in the booth. Um, so let me see what is my favorite. I love to hear from you guys about what your favorite item is from each haul. So please don't forget to put what you liked best in um, the comments below. And for me, other than my friend mail, which I totally love, um, I probably like the little mouse cheese plate. I had kind of been coveting this plate and waiting for it to go on sale. And so I was so excited to be able to find it when I went in there. So I think this is going to have to be my favorite piece that I found. But really, I like them all. So again, let me know what you like, what your favorite piece was in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit that notification bell below because every time I post a video, you'll be notified um, of that. And also when I go live, you'll be notified that I'm on so you can watch as well. And once you subscribe, you're able to um, comment along with the live chat. So that's a lot of fun to get to chat with the people who are watching the videos. Thank you so much for watching this very short haul. And again, thank you, Christine, so much for the friend mail. I love it. So until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.